What is good, Foundation Nation? Today, we're testing out the new time lapse part of the Simon line. Let's do it. So this is a brand new disc by MVP, technically Axiom, the part of the Simon line. So this is Simon Lazat's first ever mold. He had a say in the design, the everything about Shout it. Shout out Simon. Shout out Simon. It's basically an MVP driver with a nice little dome to it, which is something you don't nice typically hand. see. Feels very comfortable in the hand. From what I understand, it's gonna be pretty overstable. We're very excited to test this thing out. Pretty, pretty uh, exclusive collector disc. Not a lot of these were made, um, but discs are meant to fly. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be comparing it against some of the heavy hitters in the distance driver world. That's the only right way to test it. So I've got the DD3, a heavy hitter, also known as the cloud breaker sometimes when they decide to stamp it that way. And then I've got the industry standard of distance drivers and that is the Innova Destroyer. It isn't champ, pl champ plastic, that's interesting, that negative, but it'll be okay. Get okay. back up. Guys, guys, got the, guys got the fancy $40 First disc, row. thinks he's superior all of a sudden. Throw it right into the road. Doesn't fly far enough. Bottom of the hill, we're gonna take a three. I don't uh, throw far enough to throw that hyzer. I'm not even gonna try it. I'm just gonna go up the middle. Ew, come on. Oh, we do right. have putters and approaches to throw for putts and approaches. Just let you that know. That is true. Yeah. Well, that's pretty stable. Right there with those hornets. No, Stage. I got up the hill. I got over there with that hornet. I'm hole. not going in there. I played this hole a lot of times. Only one <laughs> round, though. <laughs> oh, drop straight down. Straight down. I'll get a destroy her again. Why not? That hurts so bad. <laughs> All right, got to get up and down here. No problem. No problem. Well, Annie, run. That's gonna be a bogey for convoy. Take an early lead here. I'm outside. Sure. I would say so. Okay. Ah, uh, a little low. Ooh, that kind of went kind of far. <laughs> Hole two, we're playing a long paint, long tee here, make it a little more driver centric. A little bit of a flex line, uh, gotta get across the bridge up the hill to the right. Um, let's see how we do here. Uh, Simon line? Oh! oh. Ooh. Hit that root. It's looking pretty good though. Ah! Ooh. Ah! Ooh. Kind of a good kick I on I don't that even really know what though. happened. Go. Yeah, con con. A little left for him. Oh, oh, oh. Desperation time. Oh, no. Okay, that's not too bad. I'll make bogey from there. Yeah, Silas, how did he get there? Just another bad shot. Well, he claimed it was a good shot. Straight up. Oh, thank good you. up. All right, we got a long tee here as well, going down the hill. The basket's where the hill starts to go back up. You can't quite see it. Um, it's gonna be a bomb for a forehand, first yeah. one of the day. But no match for the time lapse, right? Yeah, the sign yeah. line will get there easily. So I'm... Too stable for that. Back to well, you know, I think I'll be that a was less of a lapse of time, more of a lapse of judgment. Am I right, boys? I didn't put any Anheuser on it. This destroyer could just hold the whole thing in the woodland. So I am Good. nervous. Okay. You're right. Oh, yeah, Connor. Coming out of air. Look at the Finesse King. It's going to be perfect. Well, I mean, it's going to be short, but... Oh, yeah, come on. Wow, hey, I did high so five, good. Man. Yes! So yes! <laughs> I just need to get some of his hand dryness to wipe off mine. <laughs> oh, Flex King. Ah. It came out that quickly. I got far enough forward. Hopefully it's okay. Tough shot. 
Oh, I'm just rolling. Oh my. What? Dude, I think I think he just time traveled, bro. I think you're a spice <laughs> king. <That was> a... <laughs> I'm about to hit. Oh, you don't even want to know. Oh, oh, split grip. grip. Dang. You can get a split grip. Dang it, dude. One of these days. One of these days. <laughs> All right, before we get any further, I gotta tell you about our friends over at Gooder. Okay, we're, we're wearing the Gooder shades again today. So the Gooder boys are back. You know them, you love them. If you haven't heard of Gooder, let me tell you by, let me tell you a little bit about why you should check out these shades, okay? They are perfect for disc golf. They are lightweight, they are fully polarized. Oh, and they start at just $25, okay? A lot of sunglasses are gonna run you an arm and a leg just to get decent sunglasses, not Gooder. That's G-O-O-D-R, Gooder. You only have to spend $25 to get an amazing pair of sunglasses, just like these right here. Check out their site. They have a ton of fun colorways. They have all kinds of different styles. This is the Circle G style and the freshly baked man buns color way guys i'm trying to shoot an ad read i'm trying to shoot an ad read over here have some professionalism you can check out the site link is in the description that is gooder g-o-o-d-r gooder.com slash foundation and they have a ton of amazing colorways and because they're only 25 dollars, that means you can check out multiple pairs it's not going to break the bank okay these are lightweight they stay on your head while you're playing disc golf my disc golf choice when i'm playing and here's another great thing about them if you're not sure about it guess what they have a 30 day return policy free return no big deal also these come with a one-year warranty so you're protected even more on your purchase so i would highly recommend checking out and as a special offer for our viewers if you go to gooder.com g-o-o-d-r again slash foundation and use code foundation you're gonna get free shipping on your first order so i highly recommend checking out gooder we love wearing their sunglasses huge friend of the channel make sure to check them out link in the description on to the rest of the hole we're gonna see if there's any merit to trevor's little side spin thing all right Split grip. Oh, split grip. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. It's a par though. Can I get a triple split grip? Mm -mm. Mm. I am going to have to make this if I want to say par though. Par needs saving. I almost just died. Oh. Got it wow. there. <laughs> Is the Simon line disc actually good? Making bogeys. Nice, Trev. Par. Come on. Par, bro. Come on, hun. This is a new hole to us. Um, I think just a new hole in general. We don't know how long it is, but we have a new long tee pad that goes Ooh. up there and we've got a new long pin as well. Ooh. It's quite a bit uphill. Uh, it's gonna be hard for me with an overstable disc. I would typically throw something very flippy here, but we'll see, I'm gonna try to flex it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, okay. Okay, I think I'll be able to make something work over there. It did hold, it held the ante. Same idea, just trying to punch up there. You just gotta, you just gotta get it up there in the fairway. She's so high! What do you think about that, Trev? Come on, dude, not in my backswing. My bad. Counter skip. Be bad. Yep. Oh, yes, sir. Nice. Yes, sir. Do that. Throw it low All right. and let it go. That's what I always say. Throw it low, watch it go. And we're, we're gonna good. throw it low and watch it go. <laughs> A lot of highs are for big hunch. Nothing wrong with it. How'd you guys get in the middle? Never belittle. It's way farther up there than we thought. Probably. It's uh, a pump. This is a serious business hole. Oh, don't Five do class. it. Oh, <laughs> ooh, really <laughs> good. Okay. Square that's that a putt. I thought, uh, you, I thought to, you just got pulled. Did that disc would like broke the over mold off by hitting <laughs> <laughs> I could probably just chip a forehand. Oh, yeah, you're right. I gotta throw a low ante right here. Kick left, right. Oh. Hey! Oh. Same thing as a chip for him. All right, that was the hard, like, the way my body was contorted in that moment, that was awful. That's so far. But like, what am I gonna throw that driver here? Uh, it's too far for my slammer. I gotta go driver, but this is weird. It's like 250 feet. I think I'm just gonna aim at that pole on the left of the short basket. If I hit the pole, that's the pole's fault for not getting out of the way. Yeah, that's an ace. Let's go, guys. Good shot, Trevor. Let's go. It's how you play this hole. DD3, DD3. Tap in. I'm so going to square this basket right here. <laughs> oh. oh. Pole hit. Pole hit. Oh, it's putt. Pole putt hit still. sponsored by Gooder. Yeah, I would say just. Connor, you agree outside? Yeah. All right. That sounded like he agreed to me. Oh. Whap, whap. Got it! It's so hot. T. It's kind of a risky way to putt. 
Connor dude. Calm down, man. Connor dude. Connor dude. No! This is a lot of fun. So we're on our next hole here, and we're playing a lot of these new tees out here at this east course. This is a really long tee. Normally, you can see down there straight ahead. That's the tee we would normally play this hole on when we come here. We're like a good 150, 200 feet further up the hill. So now the goal, I mean, you can try to do something crazy over the top. We're basically throwing down the mountain. I'm gonna just try and throw it straight down the middle, get around the corner left, make, make a three. Uh oh. Too low. Good skip? It was a pretty good skip. I definitely oh. spent a lot of time in that position. Hard to par from there. Hard par. No, I could probably make a four, but that's, yeah. All right, we're going down the middle. They brought this pin, this placement back. The over the top, it's definitely taller than last time I played here, but that used to be the play. But you need something yeah. flippy. Time lapse, not that. Where's deep. the nope. basket? Down, straight down, and to the right. Okay. Just past the gravel just road. Just ah. to the right. Just yeah, to the right. Cool. Um, we're just gonna try to rip this down that hill. Yeah, that'll be good. Um, what? That thing is pretty stable. That's not gonna be quite wrong. Well, maybe it was yeah, close. Yeah, that's in the open. I'm not really sure what I want to do. Pretty darn stable. I'm gonna throw like a little bit. I'm not throwing it too hard because I'm scared to slip out of my hand and go left. I'm gonna throw like slight ante down the middle. I think there's enough room for a little S line. Oh, oh Connor! No. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Connor did go over the top. Bye, bye. I might make it to that fairway. I heard I you passed it. I don't. You might that have sucked. That, that was bit. stupid. No! <laughs> Alright, Trevor's right there. Time to get frisky. Basket. Right there. Oh! Yeah! That's a putt. I'm goaded. Connor, Connor's way in there. Oh, yeah! Uh, oh! Oh! Yeah, he barely got out. Oh, man. Honor Clutch Buck Kennedy. Yeah. You know? Hole 14 out here, 300 some feet. T sign's gone. Surrounded by water's OB. Usually there's not water, but if it is, course rules. Uh, basket's just chilling up on the hill there. Time lap. Time Come on, big hole. Stable. It's stable. I'm starting to develop a suspicion that only Simon's right. flipping this thing. <laughs> well, apparently the, this run is more overstable than the stock run. The stock run's supposed to be a little flippier. Interesting. That's fine, it's a three. There she I think it's two, man. It's not a two. Right. There she goes. I'm gonna try to score in. It's good, hon. Thank you. Similar issue I'm having with the DD3. That boy. Those, those sea lines that boy, are those still overstable. Well, it depends on the color is what people are telling me, I guess. I, I think green's the most overstable. That makes sense. I feel like, like, MVP, I need to be with the new Simon, the smarter Simon, the play to win Simon. You're gonna lay it up? No, you're not, dude. Oh my god. Call me Simon Lays Up. I'm just the Alright, I'm making this. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make the, the new Simon pay. Well, you're the Dismania Simon. That's right. So you'd run the crap out of this. Good point. Oh, I'm running so hard, dude. Should I just forehand it as hard as I can? I'm Paul yeah. McBath. <laughs> <laughs> No! Oh. Wow! Oh. Right, you're just putting the apples in the basket. Back bottom right. Say something to the camera. In defense of new Simon, uh, did my math wrong, thought I had like three strokes, turns out I only had one. New Simon would have ran that putt I was facing at. This is going to be a tough one here. This is a new tee to an old basket. The problem is we all have pretty stable discs and we need to get them to fly straight and just land into the hill and slide up. A birdie here would be, a two would be very good. Hey Trevor. Yeah, it is. Now get up there and just sit a little bit. 
That's, that's a stepper. That's that's a far throw to All get right. up there. Let's I see. gotta do my best thing I can. What I'm best at in the game, a little Anheuser. I'm excited yeah. to see this disc with a little bit of Anheuser. Any hot? You're, then why am I throwing? <laughs> hey Hunter, tilt ace. Yeah, just think ah, tilt, ace. tilt ace. Good job, Hunt. Come wow, on, see. Hunter. Oh, it's still stable. <laughs> now it's gonna be less stable. Good shot. I'm gonna try I'm okay to with that. That thing right. is that thing is beef. Yeah, this just like really isn't like the kind of challenge that's for me. What do you mean? <laughs> that's a hike. Connor's right there. Heads up. I thought he was gonna kill me. Yeah. Split grip. All right, this is our eighth hole. Um, eight holes. Hitting it straight ahead there, kind of on the, the peninsula, the ridge, I'll say, the plateau, if you will. Gravel road and beyond on the right is out of bounds. So like you can throw this hyzer over the top of the lacrosse fields here. It's a bit scary. I'm gonna do it because I haven't done it in a long time. It's really fun. Just gotta okay, throw it really hard and really high. Okay. Really hard and really high. Just gotta make sure I don't miss. And we got a little bit of tailwind maybe. Yeah, yeah I think that was pretty safe gonna miss now sometimes you get a roll no nope, rolls to happen on that grass nope all right it's safe simon line oh no oh, it needs no. to get stay up no no <laughs> <laughs> i believe i read to you now con con <laughs> sorry man that is tough mm. <laughs> i just don't know if i want to try to throw the flex shot or the hyzer Go to hyzer, you just gotta, I mean, if you give it height, it's like, it's just, if you want to get the birdie, you have to do 100 and throw it very close. I'm gonna go with the flex shot. It's likely just gonna go way up there on the left, but I could execute it though. Good. Well, I mean, it's fine. It's like the most boring shot I've ever seen in disc golf history. All right, get up and down, take a... Five? Four, five. We're just sink it. Turn it over. All right, or don't back. sink it. Smart. Three for me. Three for me. Five me, daddy. All right, final hole. This is the old hole 19 where we're throwing, you know, typically this hyzer out over the trees here. But it's par four now. We're trying to get into the field behind the old basket and we're going to what used to be hole 20's basket so it's a par four where we're throwing as far as we can on the first shot on hyzer to get into the open field to get up and down for a three very that's, difficult three this is going to be sketchy all right i'll give it a look Yeah, it's, le it's left too high in the air. Guys, this is a tough shot. Uh, that's bad. You're low. Well, if it gets... Oh yeah, I think I saw it get through. All right, got to lean into this. I'm down what, two? Uh, yes. That ain't gonna do it, Chief. Another pretty good shot. That was supposed to be on Anheuser. The Alright, that's that one actually my part 19 basket. Hey Connor. Hey, I'm gonna throw deeper into the woods. Okay. <laughs> Boy, that works. I'm like right on the edge of the open down there. Okay, very nice. Alright. Up and down for the win. <laughs> that is just a tough line. That's such an awkward line. I have like three feet left because that normal height is There 
There it is. Yeah, great shot. All right, up and down would get the wind here. Headwind, 200 feet or so, slammer. Those are the tricky ones. I think that's a considerable bit short. It's pretty short. It's pretty short. Well, I'm gonna try to throw it in because. Hey, remember what what last time you did with the pastry dies? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do that. Do that. I did. I was running. It. That was a good I run. Was running it. Yeah, that was a run for sure. All right, if I make this, it forces Trevor to make that. gonna land this right on top of the U, no big deal. All right, I threw one, two, three. I'll take a five, a hundred's got a putt for four. Yeah. That's finesse right there. That's right, quite hard right to on make the U. Putt. Mm. Well, folks, um, the foundation data is out. We now know that Simon never should have left MVP. The DD3 is still better than all of his discs. Not and true. No, that's the foundation Not data. Not true. I don't, I protest the foundation statistics. It's right? your own it's company. Shows. We I protest the foundation statistics. We crunched the numbers, we crunched the numbers and that's what it shooed, shooed, showed. Yeah, you just watched us crunch the numbers. Nine holes of number crunching. What do you have to say for yourself then? That's it? I let Simon down. That's all I have to say. Okay. No, honest opinion on the time lapse? That boy be stable. Stay away if you're not throwing far. Yeah? Yeah. What do you what's your honest opinion? It's it's more overstable than I expected, but I think the stock run will be exactly what people want. The stock run will probably be like a destroyer. This is more like a PD2. Um, it's gonna go in my bag so I can mess with it a little bit more. I'll just take the force out to replace with this. Really good feeling disc. I like the dome to it. A slight shoulder more than more than a dome it's a shoulder um, I feel like that makes the disc a lot more comfortable I really enjoyed throwing it um, not a thing wrong with it I think it fits the Simon brand very well this is the disc that Simon I think will do very well with and I really like the stamp and logo I think it's one of the more like too. I think it's yeah. one of the more professional looking discs that's hit the market so all around you good said success it. You all said right. it. just didn't beat the DD3 though see you in the next one it's all or nothing.